Guests on Keel heard via the Jack Spring Electric Keel Newsmaker Hotline. Back again, State Representative Danny McCormick. Mr. Danny, welcome back to Keel. Thanks for taking time today. How you doing? Doing great, guys. How y'all doing today? Okay. Want to talk about the Caddo Parish mask mandate. Want to talk about the governor's mask mandate. But first, I'm going to tell you a little story that I told someone this weekend, and I'd like you to comment on it. Because you joined us one day last week. And you said some things that to a lot of people sounded, let me use the phrase, out there about masks. And somebody mentioned that using that term to me over the weekend. And I told them the following story about Danny McCormick. I said, imagine six or eight months ago, me telling you, not you, Representative McCormick, but my friend. I said, imagine six months ago me telling you that in six months that you're going to, at the order of government, wear a mask everywhere except in your home or in your car. You'd have said that's a cra- you would have said that's crazy, right? And he said, Yeah, that would have been out there. And I said, So when Danny McCormick says in six months, government may order you to get a vaccine. All of a sudden, it doesn't sound so nutty, does it? And he paused. Mr. Mr. Danny, I guarantee you, he looked at me and he said, man, hadn't looked at it that way. I'll bet you get that a lot, don't you? I I do. I do. I mean, tyrants are so predictable, uh, though, Robert. I mean, they've been they've been doing it for centuries. You know, uh, being a liberty candidate, you know, I was talking to some of my friends, my Christian friends, when I run for office. And as most people know, I hate taxes and regulations. But I said, you know. I feel like God sending me to Baton Rouge to fight for something more worthy than taxes and regulations. And it's our liberty to do anything, but it's our Christian liberty and everything else. And, and, uh, and you know, our, our, I do want to make this plain. Our, our motto is masks aren't bad, mask mandates are. That's, that's our issue right there. We believe that freedoms and liberties belong to the people of Louisiana. We don't believe they belong to the government. And that's what our fight is, so to have the individual choice where, where, to, where to wear or not wear a mask. That's, that's our goal. But, Danny, there are going to be people, you must admit, who will wear a mask today because the governor requires it. That's a good thing. Uh, it's good that they're wearing a mask because the governor requires it. I, I disagree with that. I don't think it's a good thing. I think they're wearing it because they're afraid the government will punish them if they don't wear it. Uh, I have people talk to me all the time that says, you know, they're required at work to wear one and they don't like it, but they got to have a job. I mean, the, the government is using, is, it tries to make you think they can use force to make you wear a mask. And that's why people are submitting to it, not because they want to, because they're, they're under uh, distress. That's why they're doing it. Mr. Danny, we had you on last week, and it was the day after the mayor, Mayor Perkins' mask mandate, and you had said you thought that was an overreach. The next day, the Cattle Commission, an elected legislative body, passed a mask mandate. Do you see a difference between those two, between a mayoral executive order, if you will, and elected officials, a legislative body, passing one? Well, the, 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 yes, there there is a difference, uh, but both of them are illegal, the way they both done them, done it. So, And I'm, I'm sure that's, you know, the... The governor was putting up his uh, his local pawns to to do this for him, and once we they started being defeated, he seen that he was going to have to step up and do it himself. And and you know we were pushing back at the local level, but actually I want to let y'all know something. We're, I'm going to announce today. If y'all know me, my background is grassroots organizing. We're fixing to organize and push back against the governor. What I want to make it clear to the listeners is this: is just let's you know let's keep let's keep one thing on our mind. If your business is suffering, if you had a loved one die that you couldn't be there with, that's John Bell Edwards' fault. He's, he, it's his fault. It's not the store owner's fault. It's not the guy that doesn't want to wear a mask. It's not us liberty-loving people. Our, our main goal is to stand up to John, John Bell Edwards and his tyranny. And if you all contact my office, you can go to McCormick, the number 4 L.A., we can have a petition you can sign. We're going to, we're going to use that petition. We're going to use Facebook to organize the whole state of Louisiana and push back against this governor. Or are you going to diso- so, Are you going to disobey his order? Or are you going to file a lawsuit? What are you going to do? Uh, we, we're not going to. Lawsuits are expensive, and, and us grassroots organizers don't have the money to do that. We can't do that. We would love it if lawyers would like to step up and help us and contact our office. 
uh, me, me personally, when I go to a business, I'm going to let them know that I have an exemption and I don't need to wear a mask. And if they still ask me to leave, I'm going to, I'm going to leave. But we're, we're not, we're not going to comply, but we're not going to take it out on the business owners. We're going to keep the main thing, the main thing. So you're and telling, you're Bell telling Edwards. folks not to wear a mask, Danny? Oh no, I'm, I'm, I, I, masks aren't, aren't bad. I, anybody that would like to wear a mask, I support you in doing that. I'm not telling anybody not to wear a mask. No, that, that is not our goal whatsoever. Mr. Danny, last one, we got to run, but I just, I, you said something I just can't let go. And I need you to explain. <laughs> you just said to me that if you had a loved one who died, then it's John Bell Edwards' fault. Did I hear you say that right? And I'm, if I did, explain I'm, what you mean. I'm sorry. That's not what I meant. If you had a, a loved one die in the hospital alone because the, the government wouldn't let you go in there and hold their hand while they were dying, you understand that situation? Like they wouldn't let people go into these assisted care facilities or nursing homes and sit there and hold their loved one's hand when they died, that was an order by John Bell Edwards. That, gotcha. was, my, I, that I, was my point there. I wanted to I'm clarify. sorry if I made that no, 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 I wanted to clarify what you said because I was going, well, hold on a second. Let's get that one straight.